So um, selecting any of the types of RNAs, it could be the rRNA, it could be the mRNA, it could be tRNA. Selecting it and asking students to actually write a note on it is a very sweet um, essay question to set, okay? So um, trying to look at this now, here now the students were asked what? Write a note on transfer RNA. You get So transfer RNA is very sweet to write on it, okay? So um, there's, a, there's a sequence in which you are required to follow it. That's a sequence in which you are required to answer it, okay? And that's the sequence. First of all, you talk about the structure. Next, you talk about the function. That's all, okay? But the structure must actually come before the function. So looking at this now, we start from the definition before we go to the structure, all right? So for the definition, you guys will see the, the way the tRNA is. The structure is kind of like a T. Right? I think that's why they call it tRNA, all right? For the definition, and the full meaning of tRNA is transfer RNA, okay? So tRNA is what? Essential for translating genetic codes into protein, all right? You know, you code all the stuff into amino acids, into protein. So tRNA is useful for all that stuff, right? So it actually acts as an adapter molecule that bridges the language of nucleic acids. That's the mRNA with that of the proteins, okay? So it's bridging the nucleic acid, their communication with the proteins, you get so what is the structure of this tRNA? tRNA. It has a clover leaf model. Like the way it is like this. It's like a leaf now. It's like a clover leaf. Go go search what is a clover leaf. All right? Go go search what is a clover leaf and you get to what? Understand this one permanently. So it has a clover leaf model. That means the tRNA molecule is often depicted as a clover leaf structure with four arms. All right? Then it has anticodon arm. All right, this is the word anticodon arm or anticodon loop. All right, so the anticodon loop contains a triplet nucleotide sequence that is complementary to the mRNA codon. Okay, then it has acceptor arm. Okay, this is the acceptor arm or acceptor stem. Spoken about two ones now, right? So this one actually binds to a specific amino acid. All right, so they are amino acid specific. Then we have the D arm. All right, let's let's get to see the structure of the D-arm. D-arm or D-loop, okay? D-arm or D-loop, okay? Or you could say that, uh, okay, the D-arm and the T-arm, okay? D-arm and the T-arm or D-loop and T-loop, okay? So this one are involved in the tRNA folding and stability of the tRNA, okay? Then it has a three prime end. It has a three prime end. Okay, so the uh, the three prime M is end is what uh, the, my, the amino acid attach at the three prime end. Okay, where the specific amino acid corresponds to the anticodon. Okay, if the if you have a specific amino acid corresponding to the anticodon, it will actually bind at the three prime end. You get these amino acid attachment sites. Then the best thing that you can do for yourself is if you write about the tRNA and you get to draw it tRNA. Oh. At the lecturer that will mark your script might just even ask for your number, okay? It's if you know how to draw a tRNA, you have aced it. And if you want to learn how to draw a tRNA, this is the best image to actually learn how to draw. Right, this one, best. So talking about the functions of this now, the tRNA will decode an mRNA. Okay, it will, deco it will decode a messenger RNA. So tRNA molecules, recognize and bind to specific mRNA codons through their anticodon regions, okay? The amino acid transport. Each tRNA carries a specific amino acid to the ribosomes where proteins are synthesized. Then protein synthesis now. Now, during translation, tRNA molecules sequentially bring their amino acids to the ribosomes, matching their anticodons and the codons on the mRNA strands. And this will facilitate the assembling of the amino acid chain into a protein, okay? So tRNA, you see that the bulk of the decision and the discussion, they are involved in what? Translation of what? All those protein particles into the main protein and all that, right? So that's it for tRNA.